In this video, we are going to see how to send WhatsApp messages when a new record is added on Airtable. So let's say that you're using Airtable as a spreadsheet where you have got the details of all your new leads and you want that every time a new record is added to your Airtable spreadsheet, then a WhatsApp message must be shared with the person whose details are there in that record. How can that be done? For this, you will have to integrate the two applications. Here we are using Interact, which is going to help us in sending WhatsApp messages. So you will have to integrate these two applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. Here your trigger application would be Airtable and your action application would be Interact. Now how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side you can see two options sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user simply click on sign in. If you are a new user click on this tab sign up. It won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in. As I do that here we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli connect. And as we do that, we have reached the dashboard of this application. Again, on the right hand side, we can see a tab create workflow. As we click on this, a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here, my objective is that every time a record is added in Airtable, then a WhatsApp message should be sent to the new lead whose details are there in my Airtable. So I'm going to name it as send WhatsApp message when record is added on Airtable. Let's click on create. As we do that here we have reached another page which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. So in this integration my trigger application would be Airtable. Let's click on this. As we do that comes the trigger event. So this is the event that will make this workflow run and it would be new record. So as I click on connect here, Pabli connect is asking to connect itself with the Airtable account. I'm going to click on add new connection. Now to set up this connection, we need a token and how do we get it? First, we have to log into our Airtable account and once we have logged in, so I've already logged in and I'm going to click on this hyperlink. So now it is mentioned here that click on create new token button, add name and click on add a scope button and choose all these six scopes. And once you have done that, you have to click on add a base and choose all workspaces. So now I'm going to take you back to Airtable and here let's click on create new token. It is new one, two, three. This is the name of my token. Now the scope. So I'm going to select all the six scopes. Add. Again, we have to keep on adding. So then the schema based read, write and also the webhook manage. So once we have added these six scopes, then comes the base and here we have to select all workspaces. Once done, let's click on create token. This is my token. I'm going to copy this. Go back to Pabli Connect and paste this over here. Once done, let's click on save to set up this connection. And here we can see that Pabli Connect is now connected with Airtable. Now here we have the base, the table and the trigger field. Let me show you the Airtable that I have created. So first of all, this is my Airtable account and these are the various workspaces. Within these workspaces, we have got different bases. Now these bases have tables. I've created this base. The name is new leads. It has got one table and we have the following column fields, name, email, phone number and this here is the created field. How do we do that? So as I click on the plus sign, so here you have to select the field type which is created time and then you can name it as created. So it is going to inculcate the date and time of the data added. And once this is done, now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. Let's select the base here. So this is new leads. Let's click on this. Now, since there was only one table, so it has already been added by the system. And here is the trigger field. Now, this is absolutely important to create this trigger field. Otherwise, your workflow is not going to run correctly. Now, I'm going to click on save and send test request. So as I do that here, we have received the response of the last uh, data that we had added on our Airtable record. So here we have received the last record that was added to our Airtable. 
So this is the information. This is the name, phone number, email created, time and fields created. Now what do I want? I want to send a message on WhatsApp. So I'm going to choose my action application as interact. Let's click on this. The action event here would be to send WhatsApp template message. Let's click on connect. Here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Interact account. I'm going to click on add new connection. And now we need a secret key to set up this connection. So I have already logged into my Interact account. Now I'm going to click on this hyperlink. As I do that, here is the secret key. I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect, paste this over here and click on save. So once this is done, this means that Interact is now connected with Pabli Connect. And now we need to map this information, the country code, phone number, full phone number. So if you have the full phone number along with the country code and the plus sign, then you can mention it here. Otherwise, you can mention the country code and phone number individually. So what I have received here is the number with the country code, but without the plus sign. So I'm going to enter it here, map it here. How? As I click on this, it is going to show me the previous step. And this is the phone number. And in front of this, I'm going to just add a plus sign. Okay. So once this is done, then we have to enter the template code name. Now I want to send a message to my new leads. So I've already created templates. Templates are basically pre-written messages that you can send on different platforms. Here you have got certain variables. So you do not have to write a message again and again because it automatically changes the name and the other details as you want. Let me show you a few templates that I've created as I click on this hyperlink. Here we have reached the WhatsApp templates. Let's go to active templates. And this here is the new lead template that I had created. I'm going to show you this. First of all, the language is English. Here you have an option to select a header. So you can either go for a text, image, video or document. I have selected none. Then comes the body. So here we have a message. Hello. Then we have a number within double curly braces. Thank you for reaching out to us. We are excited to hear from you and learn more about how we can help you. Our team will be in touch with you shortly to schedule a call and discuss your needs in further detail. Please let us know if you have any questions or concerns in the meantime regards. And then there is another number within double curly braces and team. So basically, what are these numbers? These numbers are variables that can be changed with every message. So the message will look more personalized. Now, if you want to add a footer, you can add it here. If you want to add call for action buttons, you can add here. And now I'm going to take you up. And this here new underscore lead is the template code. So I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect and paste this over here. Then we have the language code. Since we have selected English language, the code is EN. Now the header value. So if you had selected an image or video, you could have pasted the URL here since I haven't selected anything. So I'm going to keep this blank. Then comes the body variables. So I've got two variables, one where I have to map the name of the person and second where I have to map the company's name. So First, I'm going to click on this and as I go to step one, this here is the name of the person Then I'm going to put a comma and write Pabli Connect. I'm going to write this manually as this is not going to change. So this is a static information for us. Next is the position of CTA button and value of variable in dynamic URL. Since we have not selected a CTA button, so I'm just going to leave this blank. Click on save and send test request. Now, as I do that here, we have received the API response according to which we should have received a message on WhatsApp. So now I'm going to show you the same. Here you can see that we have received a message. Hello, new user 123. Then we have the body and regards Pabli Connect team. This basically means that our integration process is a complete success. But we also need to check the same in real time. So I'm going to take you back to my Airtable. And here I'm going to add another data. So let's say it is test user. Then the email is test user at pablitudes.com. Then we have the number. And then here is the created time. So as soon as I've added this data, what should happen automatically? I should receive a message on WhatsApp. But the thing here is we can see that this trigger application has a polling time of 10 minutes, which means that this workflow is going to run in every 10 minutes to fetch for new data. So now we are going to wait for 10 minutes and then we'll again check our WhatsApp to see if we have received the message. 
and here you can see that yes we have received the message which basically means that our integration process is a complete success now i'm going to take you to public connect to understand what we have done so here our trigger application is airtable where the event is new record and our action application is interact where the event is send whatsapp template message i hope this is absolutely clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description you can also clone the same and start to process immediately Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.